Hey guys, it's Anna, and today I'm going to show you how to set up appointment slots in Google Calendar. Um, this is a good way to make a booking page so that people can book time with you. This is great for tutoring appointments, office hours, parent-teacher conferences, etc. So um, you're going to start out in Google Calendar, and if you don't know how to get to Google Calendar, you'll go to your employee portal, click on Tools, go to Google Workspace, and then once you log into Google Drive, you'll click on the little waffle and choose calendar. So once you're on your calendar, you're going to go to where you want the appointments to be. And I'm starting next week, which is a blank week. And what I would like to do is make um, a block of appointments from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. where I'm going to see several appointments during that time. And I want those appointments to be every 30 minutes. So what I'm going to do is click around in the grid around where I want that to to be. So I'll click here and it has started that for 730. So I'm going to drag, click and drag it up Whoops, to 7. And I want that block to go to 11. So I'm going to click the bottom edge and drag it down to 11. Instead of clicking and dragging like I did, you can also adjust the times here. Okay. Here I want to add a title and this is how it's going to be notated on your calendar and on the person who's making the appointments calendar. So I'm going to put appointment and you could put conference or whatever you want to put there. Um, it will appear on your calendar and theirs as appointment and then in your calendar it will have parentheses in their name. Um, I'm going to click on appointment slots. That's the magic button for you to click. And then decide how many minutes you want each meeting to be. Do you want it to be 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 15 minutes? And it will automatically divide this block up into those um, amounts. So I'm going to put 15-minute appointments. Um, if, if you just want to have one block of appointments on this particular date, and it's not going to repeat every week, you can just click Save and you're done. If you want a repeating block, so it's the same every single Monday, click on More Options and change does not repeat to weekly on Monday. You can also add a location or add a description here if you want them to have more information. So I'm gonna click Save. And from there I can go on to do other appointment slots. For instance, let's say this Wednesday, I want to do afternoon slots, but I don't want that to repeat every single week. So I'm gonna do um, slots from two to three o'clock just this week. Again, um, I'm going to call that appointments. Maybe I'll call that after school appointments. Um, click on appointment slots. Um, I'm going to have these be 30 minute blocks instead of 15 and I don't need them to repeat or add a location or description so I'm not going to click more options and I'll click save. Now let me show you what this does for you and how to find your booking page link. If you see the little icon here that looks like four squares, that means it's a booking slot. And if you click on that entry, there is your go to appointment page for this calendar. So you can either right click that link and do copy link address, or just click that link and it will open the booking page so that you can look at it. Um, and then you can share the link with someone. Now, I actually made these on next week, not this week. So it says go to next available appointment slot on August 15th. You'll notice here these overlap. That's because these buttons, the minimum size for these buttons is 30 minutes. And these are 15 minute appointments, but that's okay. When someone clicks on it, they'll see what time they're signing up for. They can add more information that they want to give to you. Um, that's optional. And then they'll click save. And then on your, your, that'll appear on their Google Calendar if they're using Google Calendar. And on your calendar, um, it's going to appear um, as a little overlapping event here with the person's name in it. And if they filled in any information, that will appear here too. Um, so that is how you set up booking appointments, appointment slots in Google Calendar. Again, click on the um, block to get the appointment page link. And the key thing about making appointment slots is when you start to create the event, you choose appointment slots. That's it, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.